Hello and welcome to Lord Wandsworth College 4, postcards 41, if you're following my numbering system. Um, I've been through my old collection of YouTube tapes, little films, gin wags, and I've come up with a list of three, I think it is, um, which I've done previously, all of which seem to have been fairly well received. So this is the fourth, um, probably be the last, last for a considerable time, possibly. Um, and it's been uh, uh, triggered by the arrival of a new book, which I'm going to centre on, which calls itself Lord Wandsworth College. Um, and it is largely written by Simon Clements, whom I knew quite well in the old days. In fact, I was in the Cubs with him and his brother in South Warmborough. Now, you may know several other Lord Wandsworth related publications which I've featured. Uh, that one and that one. And that one. Oh, no, not that one. But anyway, you take my point. Just a little joke there. So let's look through the book and see what we get. But the first thing to say about this is many thanks to David Coppin for loaning me his copy, which I haven't got. I didn't order one. And also, if you do want to order one, they're about £35 and you should contact the college and they can give you the contact details and so forth. Um, my overall assessment of the book is that it is modest and it is uh, um, accurate and detailed, but it is low key and it isn't uh, throwing emphasis on sporting achievements or uh, recent, uh, um, recent innovations. Neither is it lord and magnified of, of our small number of, say, famous old boys. It, it isn't that. Um, it is uh, simply as it comes. Uh, you take it for what it is, um, which is beautifully bound. And uh, a coffee, t I've called it, uh, this is a dated way to describe it, a coffee table book. And I do hope that Simon Clements and all the people at the college, um, increasingly few of whom um, have the vaguest idea who I am, take that not so much to heart as on the chin and just say, well, that's James Pratt and it, it doesn't have to matter. Here is the book. Let's have a look through it. First thing to say is it's a pleasure to own and to look through. The end papers show the uh, crest. And the publisher is Profile Editions. And the contents, I'll just quickly read these. Origins, joining the college in the classroom, beyond the classroom, campus, houses, service and philanthropy, life after LWC, final word, I think that's by the headmaster, current headmaster, and a note of thanks. Well, I, I register a note of thanks to David Coppin for lending me his copy. Simon Clements, Governor and Sternian, A. 983 asks what would Lord Wandsworth have made of it all? Of course, we will never know for sure, just as the trustees who look on the task of making his dream a reality never really knew in detail what he wanted to create. His untimely death took away the opportunity for him to articulate more than a broad outline of what he wished to achieve with his legacy, which was the estate in Long Sutton, of course. Uh, most importantly, Sternians have wanted to give back something to reflect the opportunity that LWC gave them at a time when their family life was at a low ebb. In other words, he's throwing his emphasis, and he was himself a foundationer, um, on the foundation that was set up, for example, for one parent families um, or orphans. Uh, and it did actually begin life as an orphanage. Then it went to an agricultural college. And then he just went to um, a college, not a college, but nevertheless, that's what it is to this day. Now, if you look here, I'm no photographer. If you look at that, 
That's presumably a pineapple or an acorn, maybe on the acorn gates. Forgive me, I don't know. And here are the boys processing out of the main gate, which remains the same. The boys don't remain the same. Here we are. And here's a picture of Lord Wandsworth himself. It was obviously that he did live into the 20th century, of course, a Victorian. And there's his hat, which was discovered by some um, associates of mine in the USA, I think. And there's his hat. And there's the title deeds. The Grace of God. And here are some... Uh, agent's particulars about the uh, state and uh, shows an early photograph which is very interesting particularly if you can compare this with uh, how things have developed um, multiplied I think is another word for it uh, on the estate and if you buy it if you buy this book you'll have the pleasure of looking through here's an example of the uh, farm best of photographs but nevertheless it's a coloured one yeah. and you can see something of the disparate nature of it spaced out not less and some drawings here architectural drawings of the sort my old dad would have done I suppose the home farm buildings I thought it was oh yes now known as Hyde Farm it's in fact in Hyde Road as well as you come up from where Bill Fry and George McLennan used to live and pass Junior House. There's some uh, photos here of the early Gosden House, which uh, was affiliated and also associated with the college. Um, one thing I would say is that it doesn't throw the emphasis, this publication, on individuals. So don't expect to lord and magnify, you know, Johnny Wilkinson or Julian Sands or what you will. Um, or even peg leg or, or anybody or previous headmasters it's not like that it is to stir memories it is to preserve however transitory uh, a moment in time which is when simon clements and others who helped with the publication will come on to that in a minute put this on show and um, did so in commemoration of the foundation and all that it stood for. This is rather fun. Here's Junior House. Um, and they've all got out on the scaffolding. People were forever getting out the window at Gordon Wandsworth. Um, see that? There we are. I'll just flick. I can't show you every page. Of course I can't. But, uh, here's a little bit more of the senior houses. Uh in the style of a postcard. I've got some postcards at the college, including one they haven't got. Mm. Um, it says here that this is a boy in a library. I thought it was the old headmaster. It looks like Sandy Henderson. What do you think? Is that Sandy Henderson? Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. There we are. I did see him once very briefly when I was a child in South Hornbrook Church. Here is one of the earliest, if not the earliest, um, pupils who were studying at Shepwood House, it says. Well, that's that's the library one. And this is the first known photograph of the school taken in 1927 with Colonel Julian holding the centre stage with some of the very first foundation pupils. And uh, they are short trousered and wearing little caps. Um, yes. I'm sure you'd agree with me if you want an advert for Lord Wandsworth. How about that? Look at that. Look at the richness of colour. Look at it. That's lovely, isn't it? And I can relate very strongly as a pupil there for five years and also someone who lived uh, 
prior to that in Long Sutton itself for a short while and in Hampshire all my life. Here we have um, the main drive with master's houses. And here we have, I feel bad to say this is the, uh, this is when the girls started because what well, it became co-ed. So there we are. There's the original girls. And here are some current, or fairly recent, presumably sick formers, I must assume, looking smart. Joining the college, they're talking about being new to it, first time there. Um, and there's various letters of introduction. Uh, one signed A. Henderson, Alexander, of course. I expect he had all sorts of nicknames, none of which I know. Here's the main gates today. Nice and clean. And here are the boys coming in with all the sporting photographs and the house photographs all over the walls. They might look chuffed with themselves. Little do they know what lies ahead. Here's an example of the school ties and the school caps. Um, I know somebody wrote, my mother was used to work there in the office. Somebody wrote and said they collected school caps. So there they are. Possibly those were worn, this one in particular, when you're playing cricket, I would associate, and the school badges, and there's the ties. And characteristically of this book, here is an example of, an, of a very old Stonian here, this gentleman, but it doesn't say his name. And that is the way this has been put together. It is not about the ego. It is not about the individual. It is about the corporate college. And it's done in a way which at the start can seem somewhat disappointing. But you, you look more carefully at what this is, which has been a long time in the gestation period. I happen to know. And uh, I think you would agree with me that this is a very interesting book. Here's some uh, older memorabilia, inventory of um, clothes, things you leave behind, things you don't have. Um, little cycling trips. A list of rules. Boys are permitted to visit a cinema on Saturdays when not required for games, etc. Up to five maximum of three visits a term. Uh, sorry, up to a maximum of three visits a term by permission of their ha of their housemaster. This is a privilege, not a right, and may be withheld. <gasps> no boy on such an outing may cycle after blackout. So, Hitler, watch out. The, the boys of LWC. To you. Here they are in the classroom sitting on stools and it looks very scientifically based and this is about today children at Lord's Wandsworth College learn a, a, an expansive curriculum using 21st century facilities within buildings both classic and modern I'm falling down probably no 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 I didn't say I can't believe and I still am at uh, uh, well I say I still don't approve of the fact they're called children but that was something that was passed I think that's the legacy of Mr AJ Woolstone but uh, I could be wrong here we ha have uh, the uh, young farmers with a pig and with rabbits I know that when I was there at, at junior house in 1970 uh, which was only about yesterday wasn't it um, uh, I don't think anybody owned any rabbits, but there were facilities in the table tennis hut where uh, Mr. Webb and his son, Steve, um, who I knew a little from the Cubs, um, 
sun's deep, um, uh, could have kept hutches and things like that. Here they are tilling the soil. And here they are, a recent picture, just in case you thought this was all old stuff, it isn't. Some men working on some experiments. I don't know what, but nevertheless, some experiments. This is from the 1980s. Experiments often took place on the college grounds, sometimes with unseen results. Yes, Peter Seelig would set fire to the stairs. Uh, today, the college has a new state-of-the-art science centre, which will inspire a new generation of scientists. Although ultra-modern, the new facilities uh, facility is centred among earlier buildings, finding its place in a long-established educational landscape. So take that on the nose, squarely on the nose. This is rather nice. I'm not sure what a great deal of this is very nice, but uh, this will give you an insight into what the college looks like. Even though I feel there you wouldn't see it in, this, in these terms. And all around it, Northern Hampshire, the village, and it still is a village, of Long Sutton, which according to the post office is near Hook. And according to me, is near Odium. And I never was much good at map reading. Here's an example of a school report. And here's an example of a timetable. I still deal with timetables where I work. And I'm here to tell you things haven't changed that much. Here is a very gifted young man. Thanks a lot. How about that? Look out, I was going to say look out for Casso, but maybe it's me in which to look out, drawing a parallel, which I don't need to do. Here is the library with some aged tomes, but of course they're not all the ages. And here is the art, one of the art rooms. Looks fantastic. I used to be very interested in art uh, some years back. And I think if I spent 20 minutes in this room, even if I didn't pick up a, a stick of charcoal, let alone a, wield a brush, I think I would have been inspired. That sounds so corny and cheesy, but I really do mean that. Anyway, have a look. look. Wow. That is a double wow, isn't it? I wonder if they realise how lucky they are. But even if they don't, I'm going to press it. This is up in the chapel, which I recognise, sort of. And here are some of their publications, some of which I touched on before I started to speak. And here they are, some boys and gals coming and going at high speed walking between the classrooms during the week. They don't have Saturday school now. They used to have Saturday morning school when I was a pupil there, but they don't now. I think I'm wrong in saying. Beyond the classroom, the school's first headmaster expanded the curriculum beyond agriculture to more well-rounded education. I think education is, um, agriculture is a very good education because it's linked in with the, the seasons as much as productivity. I gained an inner confidence that anything was possible, says one Sternian. I can only repeat, they do not attribute it to people. These quotations are generic and uh, cross-court. Now, I was no rugby player. To say I had two left feet is to miss the point. I hardly had any feet at all. But it does show, and it must show, some sporting activity at the coal and here is an example of that i don't know when this was taken it may be early 60s i don't recognize the individuals concerned um but obviously the strip is lwc how can it be otherwise <clears throat> more recent sporting photos 
and a mention of a tour of South Africa in 1994. That may stir the memory of a more uh, recent Stony and the my own self. Here are some young ladies playing hockey, a game I used to quite like. Um, I thought probably I was hopeless at every sport, but I wasn't at hockey. Um, I wasn't in any of the teams, but nevertheless. And here they are in whites and playing cricket. I went back to the college, I think it was last year, and uh, saw various Ian Ellis and David Coppin, uh, who I met, whom I went with, and we had a nice chat with Peter Booth. Um, there's a quotation here. I learned a love of nature and of the open air, a love of sport, and that there was so much more to life than I ever imagined. And here are two young ladies playing cricket. And here are some boys in a much earlier era, um, pugilists. They're boxing. Here's the swimming pool. Mr. Selig used to write the, something to the effect that if anybody wants the keys to the pool, he's got them. And the winner was Sutton House, the end. And here they are canoeing. Heaven knows where they canoe. I'd like to know. People have competed in the devices to Westminster canoe race. It's a 125-mile race. Well, I'm not reading any more. If it's 125 miles, I would have pegged out, even if I got so far as the towpath. Uh, here they are at the awful, awful cross-country runs, which I used to hate, but again, I came to understand uh, except. There they are. And there's the canoeing, which I mentioned earlier. Um, I'm sure that some good times were had. And if you even came last, and I came last in many rounds, uh, that was as may be. Some uh, uh, dramatics here. We have the Romans, people dressing up, SPQR, Sinister's Pockers, Quo Romanus. Huh. And here we are. Performance continued to take place in the Gavin Hall and the Nadine Apple Theatre, covering a huge variety of different music, drama and dance productions. Featured here are all the King's Men in 1977 in Greece, Greece is the word, opposite top and bottom. So there's Greece. And Greece is the word, and I will not sing it, even though I could. And there's the earlier production. I'm surprised Andrew Eborn isn't in that, or maybe he is. I can't spot him. Andrew, if you're listening, I do mean it. Here are various choristers from the Long Sutton Church of 1953. You might be uninterested to learn that in 1974, when I think Robin Craig joined the staff, uh, he became the first chaplain of LWC. He wasn't the vicar jointly. Of long something. Prior to that, David Blackwell Wall, well, was. Various musicians, gentlemen playing earnestly. Skiing holidays, I went on two of these to Le Monde. And here is Peter Booth waving out the window. Uh, so help me, I don't know who is driving the mobile, um, the transport, as it was probably called. There we are. I can't see. Could be Paul Davis, but I could be wrong. You get a good suntan and the opportunity to try and speak French and the opportunity to fail if you don't manage to speak French, which is actually an important thing to say because if you feel self-conscious, as I have done all my life, I'm feeling self-conscious now, uh, breaking that and having to speak as I did once on a bus when my bag was nearly thrown into the road I suddenly summoned up enough Spanish to shout back I'm Tony Wollstone thank you for what you told me here we are the acorn gates which have recently not that recently perhaps been renovated that's the view out uh, from the dining hall dining halls perhaps I should be saying now and across to Sutton, and you can see poking through the trees, various rugby posts. 
and I don't know what time of year this was taken, maybe because the trees are a bit sparse, it might have been October, September, I don't know, October maybe. I'd like to know, I'd like the ability to conjure kind of up the information, but I can't. Here's some pictures of uh, JH taken from the faults, and here's Quercus. And here's the cops, and here's some pictures in snow and in sunshine. And here's an interesting, how about that? That is no everyday photograph, is it? Of a building which I would never have been inside, I haven't been inside it at any stage, but nevertheless, it does give you a flavor of the college and of the movement of students because after the period is over so 40 minutes or what you will i don't know how long the periods are now uh, you would pick up your briefcase and go to the next lesson so here's various uh, events happening in the uh, gavin hall and here's various salt walker salt water gargles seem to cure everything from athlete's foot to dandruff and here is the sanatorium uh, where people went, well, I went to pass my Latin level glass paper because I wasn't well enough to take it in the Gavin Hall. And here they all are all eating. I have to say from start to finish, I thought the food at the at LWC was excellent. I always tried to enjoy it, that's the careful wording of that sentence. And then when I went to the sick form college in Basingstoke, the food by contrast was rubbish. But LWC was okay. Here's another picture, and this is really Hampshire countryside, and I hope education too has its best. And I'm not just saying that; they aren't paying me to say any of this. You can see the various, presumably, click, cricket squares and so forth, and the long jump pit and all sorts of stuff. And you might have a bit of fun trying to find where your houses were. Those people who stayed there, you boarded. Here are some pictures of the individual houses. And a young lady, perhaps up at Sutton, looking a bit forlorn. And some boys. And here's Sutton House. Show you that because I'm trying to spill a good picture, isn't it? Look at that. I'd like to know the history of Sutton House. I don't mean in terms of academia or LWC, but how old the actual building is. The newer houses, Hazelby and Summerfield, and the Cinder Track, known as the Cindy, which leads down to Junior House from the block. And here are some girls. <clears throat> Class. Hating the thought that they're being photographed. And some with war paint on. Some boys having built an amazing, amazing snowman. Have you ever seen, ladies and gentlemen, as Frankie Howard used to say, have you ever seen it, um, a snowman as big as that? So you'd think it took the best part of a year for it to melt. There's nothing more. <laughs> Dripping away. And the smell now is. Here is my one personal link with the college. This book. Here's the tuck box owned by possibly Peter, but definitely Jonathan Whitehead. And there it is, and with his name on it. So there it is, and people would take uh, when he boarded. Jack Whitehead didn't board the whole time. You could put your uh, Kit Kats and lovely things in there. Here's a dormitory. Spartan and extremists. There we are. Isn't that lovely? They are playing table football, and here are some girls 
not playing table football, but behaving sensibly. This is some reconstructions of older photographs with newer people in a sort of cameo role. Service and philanthropy. So when they stopped making CCS, Combined Cadet Force Compulsory, and they allowed the boys, and this is pretty decent of them, to go and do odd jobs in Long Sutton. The CCF allowed me to do things I loved along, alongside close friends and to make some more. Well, I can think of a few things about CCF, and it, well, yeah, I didn't make them amongst close friends. Here we have the uh, chaplain with various enzymes and a landed helicopter. This is not a flick glider piloted by Richard King. There we are, look. There we are. Richard King, if you're listening, no disrespect at all. But I do remember you going up and going down. Here we have a sort of jazz evening they had about 10 years ago. Uh, to my shame, I was due to go, but I lost my nerve a bit. And uh, Alex um, Waterage, whom I don't know personally, but I do know his uh, parents extremely well, um, performed there. On, on the saxophone, I think. Could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think it was the saxophone. Some old photographs of members of staff, a tent falling down, um, strong emphasis on CCF commemoration, um, some theatrical performances, a Father Christmas race, some, some people up a mountain, Colonel Julian again, some boys relaxing, Life after LWC, careers, of course. Some singing and shouting, some social gatherings. Two boys embracing. People coming off the transport, as it would have been known. At Shepwood House, I think. There's the flag. I'm going to show you that. With the school colours there. An example of the school badge and one of the magazines, the Sternian. And with the motto, Wink it Perseverantia. Here is the one person I knew that's mentioned here, Jeremy Briley, Jerry Briley, at the golf club. They went and had the Sternians knock around. Might not like me saying knock around, that sounds a bit disrespectful. I think probably most of them were, were pretty good players, but I don't know. Some girls, numerous ways for Sternians to stay in touch with the college. These include, well, these include reading this book, don't they? rugby, hockey, netball, and cricket. It doesn't mention chess, does it? Anyway, that's as maybe. And uh, some older photographs, people sat around in a semicircle on deck chairs. And here is one of the uh, regional reunions, possibly, probably in Bournemouth. I think they go to the Carberry there. A letter from Browno. If you don't know who he is, I'll leave you to find out that he was connected with Sutton House. And he, he was one of the very early boys. And uh, a letter from Bill Betts. And here's a lovely panoramic or something. But it is nevertheless look at that. The K Tolls projection. If Roger Davies was listening to this, the late Roger Davies, he'd probably say it's not the K Tolls, it's McCartle. But whatever it is, it's nice to see it. A final word, which is uh, um, in any environment, we have a place of calm, of reflection, and of memory. And this is a short piece by the headmaster. And I'm going to mention his name if only because when i met him i had a rush of blood to the head and i couldn't remember what it was and his name is adam williams he's the headmaster at the moment at the college and here's simon clements thanking all the people who have helped um or maybe it isn't written by simon because I, I notice he's mentioned he's thanking himself so um 
it says this book is not an historical record rather a celebration of life at lwc across the decades through a rich selection of evocative images i can only repeat that very accurately sums it up evocative images if you don't want this you haven't got the preceding publications and you don't want access to them because you could go to the college by arrangement and have a look at them i'm sure they'd be pleased to take you in uh, at some point you can't just go there willy-nilly but nevertheless you, you you can look at these things um if this appears not to be what you want then don't buy it and be disappointed but i think it is very nice but it, it will not be to every taste um the book was published in 2022 by profile editions of london and it is uh, has an art director and a designer and as i say it was put together amongst by simon clements dickie as he was known actually who was one of paul davis's the physics master's stepsons thank you very much for your time and thanks once again to david coppin for for loaning me the book david you will now have your book back post haste Mm-hmm. 